Gute and welcome to this tutorial where I'm going to show you how you can increase the quality of your locally running text-to-speech services by adjusting eSpeak's phonetical dictionary. And I'm going to show you this on my Linux Ubuntu system, but it works the same way on Microsoft Windows and Apple macOS. Before going in the topic, I'm going to show you some samples on how you can modify the spoken and synthesized output based on identical textual input by just modifying phonetic dictionaries. This is a test. This is a blah blah blah. This is a blah blah blah. Thorsten is greeting you. Thorsten is greeting you. And how I did that, I'm going to show you after a little bit of theory. If you would like to support my work, please subscribe to my channel, give this video a like and let me know in the comment box below on your thoughts on this topic and video. Thank you for that. Most text-to-speech services are based on phonetics. So they take the textual input, convert it to a phonetical string based on IPA, so the International Phonetic Alphabet. And this IPA string will be used for synthesizing your final audio. If you are interested on more details on phonetics and linguistics, there's tons of information available on this crazy field of science available on the internet. But this should be enough for the theory. Now let's start with the cool part. So let's start by opening a terminal. And on my system, I've installed eSpeak NG as phonemonizer, which is really widely known and greatly supported. There are other phonemonizer tools like Groot, shout out to Michael Hansen, available, but I guess eSpeak or eSpeak NG is a good choice because it's widely supported. So let's see, I've installed this on my Ubuntu, eSpeak. And here we are, eSpeak NG in version 1.50. And let's do a super simple test for the beginning. So let's run eSpeak NG with a text. This is a test. And the argument minus minus IPA. So this will on the one side speak. This is a test with one of the very robotic eSpeak uh, default voices and in addition it will print out the representation of this is a test in the international phonetic alphabet. So let's listen and see. This is a test. So as I've said it has been spoken in this robotic eSpeak NG voice and this is the phonetic representation of this is a test. Before we can modify and play around with pronunciation let's Take a look to eSpeak NG's GitHub repository on github.com eSpeak NG eSpeak NG and here is a folder called dict source so the source for the dictionaries. We have this language code underscore list for example or rules. So let's see our English uh, list so for example en underscore list and in this file is lots of information how English words are being translated in phonetics and then finally being spoken. So we can scroll a little bit down and we will see, for example, how browsing will be pronounced. And at the top of this file, we can see that you can use an en underscore extra or de underscore extra for Deutsch, for German, file. You can edit this file, but I would recommend you to uh, create an extra file for your specific language code. So let's play a little bit around with that. But before we can do this, we have to download or clone this eSpeak NG repository. So let's copy the clone URL. I'm in my user home and run git clone paste Once this is cloned or downloaded, let's switch into it and into our dict source directory. And here we can see the same files as we have seen in the browser on the GitHub page. And let's create a new file en, so English language code and extra. And let's add a specific new line. So let's replace the word test with 
So just for the fun, blah, blah, blah. This does not really make sense, but makes fun. <laughs> so it's mainly to show you what I mean. So you will hopefully find more useful changes and use cases, but just to show it to you. So we have now created a new en extra file with that one row replacing test with blah, blah, blah. And uh, this will not have any effect without compiling it to an English dictionary. So if I run my my test again, this won't have any effect at the moment. This is a test. So what we have to do is we have to compile this change. And for this, we have to run eSpeakNG as root user because the dictionary will be copied in your file system to a path where only root users have access. But to show you the error message, I'm going to run it at first without root privileges. So run eSpeakNG minus minus compile equals en for the language code English. And as I've said, I've, I'm getting a permission denied error because the compiled dictionary should be copied into one of the system paths and this is rejected without root privileges. So let's run this one with the sudo command eSpeak ng compile en. And now you can see that multiple files have been found with lots of entries. So the list file, an emoji file, and our newly created English extra file with just this one entry. And if we run the test phrase again, this should now replace test with that blah, blah, blah. So let's check our history. So, and let's, yeah. This is a blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so, <laughs> this does not make any sense at all. But you can hear that it's spoken, that this is a blah, blah, blah. And you can see by the phonetic uh, representation here, this is a blah, blah, blah. And um, let's take a look to the, just for the fun, to the English list of default file again. And um, you can stress uh, the pronunciation. If you are interested in what stress or unstressed means, please take a look to um, linguistics and phonetics. Uh, you will find lots of really theoretical stuff on that. But to show you what I mean, uh, let's just edit our English extra and let's put some more pronunciation or stress on this second blah so let's just, without compiling, let's run it again and listen closely because it's not a really huge difference, but it's a little bit of a difference, hopefully. This is a blah, blah, blah. And let's compile, speak again and run it again. This is a blah, blah, blah. And you can see that this stress here symbol has been adjusted to what I've entered. You can hear a little bit of a difference. This is a blah, blah, blah. So, and this is one example how you change the pronunciation. And this might be useful if you have a specific domain with some crazy words that are typically pronounced wrong by text-to-speech services. Uh, let's add another row because my name, so Thorsten with TH is typically pronounced in English as Thorsten because it's TH. So that's uh, not surprising. But let's see if we can improve how my name is pronounced. So input would be my originally written name. And let's get rid of the H and just write Thorsten this way. So let's see if my name pronunciation can be increased increased by this. So first of all, let's just speak it without compiling. So let's say Torsten is greeting you. Thorsten is greeting you. Thorsten is greeting okay. you. So Thorsten is greeting you. Now let's compile our modified dictionary again. 
And let's see if Thorsten is closer to Thorsten now. Thorsten is greeting you. Okay, it's not optimal, but as you might hear, it's closer to my uh, real name pronunciation. And you can see by the phonetic representation, uh, you can see the difference. And this modification affects all locally running TTS solutions and models that rely on eSpeak or eSpeak NG as phonemonizer, such as Koki TTS. And to prove this, I will run Koki TTS server on my local computer with an English high class locally running voice and will show you that the changes we have made on the eSpeak English dictionary will automatically be affected by Koki TTS voices. For that, let's open a new terminal and go to my home directory, TTS, activate our Python virtual environment. If you do not know how you set up a Koki TTS server and use local voices uh, by Koki, I've made quite some videos on that. So please check out uh, my, uh, my channel and uh, you will find tutorials on that or let me know in the comments and I will put a link to it in the description box. So just uh, give me a feedback on that. So let's run TTS server list models and let's choose an English model. So this one, let's run a TTS server with that specific model name. And once the server process is up and running, let's go back to our browser, open localhost 5002 and enter uh, Torsten is greeting you, speak. Torsten is greeting you. So no TH, just Torsten. <laughs> so as expected, but not as robotic as the default eSpeak voices. Let's do our initial test phrase. This is a test. This is a blah, blah, blah. So, <laughs> this is so silly. But okay, you got the point hopefully, and now it's time to um, revert it back to the original because this is a blah, 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 does not make sense if you put the input text, this is a test. So let's go back to our original terminal. Let's just remove our en extra file, compile it, compile. Now the en extra file obviously is not found and uh, so all the default values are uh, in place and let's speak this is a test again this is a test and that's the way it should be i hope you found this video helpful if this is the case please subscribe to my thorsten uh, thorsten voice channel and uh, give this video a like let me know in the comments on what you think and if you like we might see us next time bye